Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. It's for Science Day. If you all remember a little while ago, we had some of our half inch ultra high molecular weight or polyethylene boards from Adept Armor. They're the ones who make the Colossus and other various very cool body armor panels. But we shot some various armor piercing and high end threats at those PE panels to see how many of them that when we stack them together would actually take to stop some of those threats. Our M2 armor piercing and our M993 were very interesting. So in that video, I said, hey, we should follow up with a 50 BMG test. So Adept was nice enough to sponsor this video and we've got the almighty here, 50 BMG. Now we're gonna try to keep this test slash demo very short and sweet and very basic. You know, this is just for pure entertainment value. We're gonna place our PE boards stacked one through eight, and I have two left over from the last test up against our clay briefcase right here. We're gonna take a shot of M33 ball. This is a 650 grain full metal jacket. Most of our military 50 BMG has a steel core in it. This is no exception. It has a mild steel core in it. The only lead core rounds that I'm aware of in 50 BMG are our 750 grain Hornady Amax. Now, depending on whether I can hit the plate or not in the first shot. And what this does to all those little panels, we may take a follow-up shot with our M2AP. If this goes completely awry, we may have to request some more of these from Adept. Essentially, this is the same material that they use in their Colossus plate. It's ultra high molecular weight. It's half inch thick, pressed very, very nicely, almost like a cutting board. Our 50 BMG for choice today is our Barrett M107A1. It has the 29 inch barrel. We don't have a suppressor for it just yet, but we should see velocities in excess of 27 to 2800 feet per second for this particular load. All right, we're set up and ready to take our first shot. Now, because M33 ball isn't the most accurate, I'm going to place the shot center of mass and hopefully that's where it hits and we may only get one shot out of this entire test. We've got an adjustable bag rider on our M107A1 because the monopod really wasn't great for dialing in shots like this. Now, again, this is not meant to be a precision sniper rifle. It's more of an anti-material rifle but anything you can do to help seems to be working out pretty well. I need to get a better bag for it. I'm just kind of making some compromises here today. Hopefully we get a velocity. If not, we're right around 2790 today with this PMC load. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, and I knocked it over. Let's go see what we did, folks. Well, folks, it looks like my elevation was good. I'm about an inch to the left, and it looks like a majority of our panels are still intact. We may have to take a second shot of our M2AP. We have these plates labeled, they're a little hard to read. So here's plate number one. It obviously has the most damage to it. Look at that giant hole there. Plate number two. Clean through that guy. Our sticker came off. Plate number three. What the heck, guys? Plate number three, no pass-through. What? No way. No freaking way. Plates four, five, six, seven, all clean. So I guess that means we're gonna have to shoot M2AP at them. So whoever guessed Three panels stops in the third, so two and a half, two and three quarters, I guess is gonna be our winner. That is totally awesome. Color me impressed with this polyethylene. Well, that was surprising. I expected M33 ball to smoke all of those panels. So I didn't bring out 
any other types of specialty rounds with us today. So we may have to do another follow-up video where we bring out maybe the API and possibly our Mark 211 Ralphus round. But I did bring some M2 AP with us today. This has a very much identical core to M33 ball, except it is hardened. So in theory, this should penetrate a lot more. I do believe this came from Denver Bullets. A big thank you to them for having this stuff available for me to purchase. Nice. Hopefully that was a solid hit down there. Well, I'd say for our testing, that's a fair hit. Now there is no standards for 50 BMG testing, so all's fair in love and war. I would say our first panel is probably used up. We have penetration through the first panel. Here's panel number two. Complete penetration through there. There's our jacket. Panel number three. Uh-oh. Panel number four. Uh-oh. Panel number five. Uh-oh. Six. Clean through. Seven. Clean through, eight, clean through. But you can see that the bullet core is starting to change directions there. You can see our entrance is there and it's going that way. Here was panel number nine. We were in an uncompromised area there. Bullet is going that way. Panel number 10, that core still unaffected is traveling that way and out and then it went into our clay and is gone so i'm not sure if we want to shoot any of the more advanced threats at it unless we have quite a bit more of these panels may need to be a little larger as well. Well, folks, I'm simply amazed that our M33 ball and 50 BMG from a 29 inch barrel was stopped in effectively one and a half inches of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Now our hardened steel penetrator M2AP just kept going and going through all 10 of those panels. I'll talk to Adept and see what their thoughts are on doing the API or the Mark 211 Ralphus that has a tungsten core and an actual explosive compound inside of it. I'll see what their thoughts are on trying to repeat that test with those rounds. We might need a little larger surface area to account for any of that core change directory and maybe need double or triple the amount of panels. With all that being said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here, but at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who help make these possible because there's a lot that goes into them. Number one is my Patreon and Subscribestar fans. I have a link tree in the description below with various different ways to either contact me or support me. I have various discount codes and affiliate links that cost you nothing and they essentially earn me a sales commission. If you don't see one and you're looking to make a purchase and you wanna help out the channel, you can always send me a DM or an email and ask if I have one and I can send you one if I do. Number two is Jake from Adept Armor who sent me those polyethylene panels to destroy with no strings attached. I do believe I have a discount code from them. So if you're looking at picking up any of their products, again, all that will be funneled back in the channel to help me buy ammo and or any other testing equipment. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.